We've been talking about kale throughout the morning, and this is a statistic that might surprise you, that the average American eats how many pounds of potatoes a year, Salen? 250 pounds of potatoes, and mostly fried. That is a lot of potatoes. That's, That's almost a pound of potatoes every two days, more than that. And how much kale is being consumed? Six ounces. Six, that's it. That's a small amount. Um, so, of course, we're making delicious recipes here and helping you incorporate healthy eating into your life, which is what Beyond Nourish is all about. It's time for dessert here, so I'm going to put the kale aside, although I could plow my way through that bowl. Oh, delicious. Such a great recipe. Okay, what are we making next? So we're going to be doing a gingerbread cookie, mm -hmm. and it's going to be raw. So first we're going to have our raw almonds. So I'm going to get you to put the raw almonds inside. In the food processor? Yep. Okay. And then we have dates. Okay. Now gr dates are a great carb source for before working out or after working out. Much better than the sugar-filled energy bars. Right. So once we fill, finish that, I'm going to get you to put the ginger. So ginger is super anti-inflammatory, it warms you, all of these spices. So we have cloves, we have nutmeg, and ginger. So I'm just getting a pinch of oh. that. <laughs> Thanks for stopping me, I would have thrown the whole thing in. Okay, a little pinch of that. And a pinch of cloves. Mm -hmm. This is a nice little Christmas recipe, not that we're thinking about winter. Well, it could be just fall too. Anyway. Okay. And then I'm going to get you a little bit more than a pinch. So a few cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. So a few the teaspoons. Thing? Not a whole, the whole thing, but a few more. Okay. Awesome. And then we're going to use blackstrap molasses, which gives it the gingerbread taste. So we're going to do three tablespoons of gingerbread mol uh, of molasses, blackstrap molasses. Fantastic. And blackstrap molasses is high in iron. There we go. That's a generous <laughs> tablespoon right there. It's okay. Two, three. And so this is better than your white sugar. And there's iron in molasses yeah. too. Okay, fantastic. Last but not least, is this it? We blend that this up? That is it. You can throw in a little bit of Himalayan salt. Why not? Yeah, we can. So, so this is the base. That's easy breezy. Yeah, and what I love about this is you put it in the food processor, and then next up we're going to roll it, okay. and then roll it in coconut, and it's perfect. Kids love it, mm -hmm. tastes great, and they're not going to be filled with butter and flour and sugar. Right, fantastic. Okay, we're going to blend this up and bring together the gingerbread in the next segment, guys. I happen to love gingerbread. <laughs> And I happen to love my daughter more when she's not filled with butter, flour, and sugar. She's not easy. Uh